Today is 1st of September. I last drank on the 9th of August. So it has been about three weeks and a day or three weeks since I drank and I'm struggling, man. I'm struggling because um, I'm not able to, everything is good. Health is good. Mental health is good. My sleep is good. Personal life is, is, is not very good. Work life is pretty good. Um, can't complain much about money, you know. Spiritually, I feel a little better than I would otherwise. Uh, mornings are very good. Working out is fine. Everything is fine. YouTube is completely zero. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to post any videos right now. <laughs> but here I am doing something which I don't want to do. This is a disgusting charge. Yeah, it's still disgusting. I have to have this for my nutrition. Um, there are many advantages of being sober and today I'm going to discuss those advantages and disadvantages. Number one advantage of going sober for me has been that, you know, there's a mental fog. fog. There's a mental fog when you are drinking. You're living in this fool's delirium, you know, and you're like, wow, man, you know. I'm enjoying myself so much. Every day is fun. Every third day you allow yourself to drink. You feel, yeah, man. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll work. And Thursday, I'll, you know, drink. And then Saturday, I'll drink again. Friday, I'll drink again. Slowly, you start to notice that you are drinking more than normal. In my case, that's what happened. I decided or realized I'm drinking more than normal. And then it becomes a pattern. And before you know it, you're drinking more than you've ever drank. Your number of drinks increases, your frequency of drinking increases, and you feel, oh my God, I'm really enjoying myself, but I hate the fact that I'm drinking so much. And that's exactly, exactly what happened in my case. My drinking was a bit like, you know, and I used to have these two, three months when I used to go sober, and I realized that for a long time I haven't gone sober. I can't speak in Hindi right now. I can only speak in Hindi fluently when I'm drinking. Uh, because मुझे उस वक्त लगता है कि हाँ यार अब मजा आ रहा है हिंदी में बात करने का but when I'm sober I can't even speak in Hindi man yeah big shit if you offended by that then that's on you butch so I'll stop being defensive because that's one of the advantages of going sober you're not very defensive all the time you don't play the blame game you don't feel the anger you feel so much more relaxed you don't feel very reactive your brain takes time to process something if some idiot re leave, leaves a comment on one of your videos, you don't feel like responding. You're like, okay, whatever. You don't feel like being spiteful, you know, because you are well slept or and you well rested. So you slept well and you feel, you're well rested. So you don't give those kind of stupid responses. You are okay in your own skin. You don't think that you have to prove someone that I am the one. And from me, the world is the end and the end. You know, which you feel when you are drinking. Sometimes you go into this fog, like I said. So the fog has lifted. But I'm not able to utilize it very well, I'll be honest. I've only read in 21 days, I've only read two and a half books, which is awful. But if you look at it, if I was drinking, this would probably be two and a half books. I wouldn't have read probably in this time. I probably would have read one and a half books. So Reading has been a kind of disappointing thing and maybe that's one of the reasons I have to start to want to drink again. Today I was in a lot of mood to drink. And today is the fourth day when I was in a lot of heart in these 20-22 days. Fourth day. First 10-12 days are hell. Because you, you, you feel like you have been deprived. But if you, what you have to do in those days is you have to notice all the positive things. The more positive things you notice about not drinking, the more easier it becomes. So let me talk about the more positive things. I love the fact that I'm able to appreciate mornings when I'm not drinking. Even if I sleep not that well, I'm okay. Even if I sleep two, three hours less than my normal schedule, I'm okay. I'm not rusty. And when I sleep well, oh my God, the kind of sleep I get, oh my God. My recalling ability has gone from being five on 10 to 8 on 10 in just 20 days. My wrinkles on my skin are gone. But the wrinkles which I have here, other wrinkles which I notice about myself, they are gone. I'm more regular at the gym. I'm building a slightly better physique as you can see. Um, I'm able to do more 
In the morning, I'm able to make it more meaningful. I'm able to concentrate better. I'm able to be a little more organized and clean. I'm able to have better relationships with people. I'm able to have more deeper, meaningful conversations with people without having the flake of alcohol hanging around. Eventually, when you when you're abusing alcohol, right, you get into these conversations and you feel you are being quite poignant and meaningful in that moment. But all you're really doing is you drug man by alcohol. So you're just being a bouncing creator who's just relying on alcohol, you know. There are two types of uh, rationales. One is a hungover rationale, which often comes to the fore in my case. And the other is the actual rationale, which uh, is prevalent when I'm sober. Um, I think um, there's less showmanship happening in my life when I'm, when I'm sober, which is kind of good, kind of bad. Um, has my slept improve, uh, sleep improvement? Uh, yes. Has my effect at work improved? Yes. Am I, am I more productive? Am I more profitable? Do I make more money? When I'm sober? Yes. Is the universe more rewarding to my efforts? Yes. Do more good things happen than bad things to me when I'm sober? Yes. Am I more likable when I'm sober? Yes. Do people around me find me more present when I'm sober? Yes. Am I able to be a more empathetic listener when I'm sober? Yes. So all of these things are there, man, which are the good things. What else do I like about being sober? Well, I'm able to, um, funnily enough, you're not going to believe this, but you know that thing you're scared of doing? Because you just scared of it and it seems like such a mountain to climb. If you're sober, you might as well do that. I used to have a friend who became sober and he stopped speaking with me. He stopped relating with me, so he stopped hanging out with me. And he was my best friend. And, uh, and I completely get it, man. I get that he has a new lifestyle. He just can't respect people who drink anymore. You know, that, that definitely happens. He can say what he wants, but he somehow cannot respect me anymore because I drink. Either that, or I'm also a reminder of the fact that he's missing something. Now, this guy has been sober a thousand days or 800 days, but three or four months into his sobriety, he did the impossible. He quit his job. Similarly for myself, I want to say I challenge everything when I'm, when I'm uh, sober and I'll give you a logic for it. Now, the reason I challenge everything when I'm sober, I think is because I no, I no longer have the convenient excuse ki yaar, I'm drinking. So maybe I'm talking gibberish, right? Because you, every day you're sober, you start, you start appreciating yourself more. You, the self-doubt kind of evaporates. So you're more likely to challenge those things outside of your comfort zone if you're sober versus if you're not getting anywhere in life and you're drinking almost every day and you want one thing but you're not able to get it, I strongly recommend you go sober for three weeks and you will give that thing a shot, something which is in your brain but you never have the balls to do it, you might do it. In my case, I attempted to do something like this. It didn't work out or whatever but at least I have the balls to do it, man. And I'm better for it. I respect myself more. So in just 22 days, I was able to do something which I probably was not able to do in the past three, four years. But at least I tried. That's all that matter, matters in the, at the end of the day. If you want to do a certain thing, but you're not doing it because you keep thinking, one day I will try to do this. Fuck that. Sorry for abusing, but not sorry for abusing. Apart from that, I think I look much better when I'm sober. Don't go by my shuttle right now. I just feel I'm a lot better looking than when I'm sober because my eyes are a bit more popping. You know, they're a bit more accurate. Within three or four days, I felt that my eyes are changing. Your eyes completely change when you're a, when you're a zombie fucking smoker like I am. Uh, sorry, drinker like I am. And when you stop drinking, I feel your eyes just look very different. Your eyes have a more pointed throw about them and I don't I, it's probably not coming out right now it's, it's the end of the day what the fuck are you gonna do it's 8 p.m. and I've been up since 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. is it but the point I'm trying to make is that 
lot of advantages man one big advantage is uh, is that you have more time when you have more time you're able to watch more things you're able to appreciate more art you're able to take a look into yourself you're able to take out time for working out you're able to take out time for some meditative space of mind sometimes you just look at the room sometimes you look at the bottles of alcohol and you think what if i was drinking right now well, how different would today be how different would tomorrow be tomorrow morning you would hate yourself mornings are a lot better i don't have days anymore where i'm wishing oh my god dude i wish i didn't drink yesterday i wish i didn't drink yesterday i wish i didn't have that last drink i wish i didn't do this i don't ha- i don't send stupid messages to people you know fighting with them i'm i keep fighting with people when i'm drinking you know and i keep regretting my live streams when i'm drinking i'm like oh my god i can't believe i went online and abused a bunch of people and then i was asking for donations man what the hell you know cuz in real life a thousand two thousand bucks it it really doesn't make or break me you know yeah i mean that's a very insignificant amount but i act so destitute and, and weird when i drink i think probably deep inside i'm just i'm just like that and that side of mine comes out but that's a different story for a different day let's talk about the disadvantages you feel bored i had a couple of parties at my home i had one party at my home where a couple came over everyone was drinking i didn't drink i felt absolutely okay but but i was not able to relate to their level because they were a bit higher than me and i was right here so the normalcy of the whole thing it was very refreshing i went to another party and it was a sober party but i went other than that i completely avoided my friends um there was nothing much happening because when you become 38 and all your friends are married they all are kind of dead including you so there's really not much to do you know unless you're a cool guy and you're very good at pretending that your life is good fuck that shit there's really not much happening man if now a dad you know you're not going to go socialize and try to you know get girls anymore that's not the motive of your life anymore because you're a, you're a committed guy right so booze is one alternative to just sit in a room and enjoy yourself and for me especially being a, a streaming alcoholic i did another thing when i became sober i rejoined a nutrition diet and for what it's worth i lost a kilo or so so far but at least i took that initiative i would never have taken that initiative if i was still drinking i'd keep waiting i'd keep saying not today not tomorrow right now if you put a if, if you put a beer in front of me i'd be like kya hai do i have to have this and i wouldn't even be interested it's not going to do anything to me but if you put a whiskey in front of me right now you should take a nice good looking bottle of glenferig 18 which is kept like 2 meters from me and you pour that into a glass and you ask me to drink it i'd be like should i should i not So it's not like the alcohol is calling me but my entire lifestyle of being a streaming booze head. I think that's somewhere you know I kind of miss on my YouTube because my channel is based on alcohol reviews. So it's not really growing that much, you know. But I put all of that on the back burner, man. I'm 22 days sober and the disadvantage is that you miss alcohol, you feel a bit bored, you feel like oh my god, what's the purpose of me even making money? Like for example yesterday I had a very big sale right very big sale means I made a I made some money man big shit and I was like wow today I will drink but then I said why do you have to drink all this to celebrate so I ordered butter chicken and I had that with paratha and it was awesome but then again I felt a bit empty at night and I felt I needed something I have sugar cravings I feel like having ice cream all the time you know that's about it Days are more beautiful. I think I'm a more appreciative person. I'm a very appreciative person. I appreciate a lot of things about the day. Often when I'm going out, I look at the sky and I feel it's so awesome. I, I'm so grateful for being alive in 2022. And I really feel for things and people and I have a lot of empathy towards them. And this is not common for me when I'm drinking. I think I'm a bit too involved, self-involved in my own world. Yes, I might appreciate things, but I have a niggling headache all the time, dude. I I regret fights I have with people, you know, or proclamations I make when I'm drinking. So that's that's what's happening. Uh, can you make some sense of this? Goodbye.